Retrial of Amanda Knox. It starts tomorrow in Italy, but the American student, well, she won't be there. That's right. Two years ago, Italy's highest court overturned Knox's murder conviction, and the 26-year-old returned home to Seattle, where she sat down recently with ABC's Nikki Batiste. A walk is really important for coming back. As a new trial looms, Amanda Knox is haunted by her 1,400 nights locked in an Italian prison. I had panic attacks and um, and just broke down and I, I couldn't breathe. She says panic attacks and PTSD still plague her and physical freedom has not freed her mind. So much so that sometimes she thinks she sees fellow prisoners on the street. I thought I was okay, I was home and, and I wasn't. I was so angry and I was so sad. She says reliving her ordeal triggers her breakdowns. But tomorrow, she can't avoid her reality. Her freedom is once again in the hands of a panel of Italian judges and jurors. Facts are facts. And I'm not afraid of them. No new evidence or witnesses are likely. What is possible, Rudy Gaudet, the only person serving a sentence for the crime, could take the stand. He admitted to police that he was at the crime scene. As court begins tomorrow, Knox will stay in Seattle and start her final year studying creative writing at the University of Washington. I'd like to write more. Um, I'm already working on other kind of projects. She will be waiting for updates from her Italian lawyers in between classes. Not exactly the college life she dreamed of. I'm really looking forward to um, actually getting a place to live. And not the same Amanda Knox who set off to study abroad six years ago. How have you changed? And I know that my family was expecting the old Amanda back, which is the old <laughs> Amanda back, and I'm not quite as chirpy anymore. For Good Morning America, Nikki Batiste, ABC News, Seattle. Yeah, you can really see how this experience changed really her. really changed her. And 1,400 days in jail. Yep. Tomorrow's ABC News, yeah. Sorry, what I was going to say ABC News and GMA will be covering the trial, obviously. Yes, and uh, it is a big trial, a nervous time for her.